In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a card with the letters cut out of the top. I saw someone post a picture of a card like this and I thought that it was super cute. So I went into Cricut Design Space and played around and figured out how to make it. And today I'm gonna show you how I did it. If this is the first time you see one of my videos, my name is Cindy and this is a Cindy Did It channel where I make a lot of different crafts and share different craft projects and ideas. If this sounds like something that you would like, click the subscribe button and that notification bell. Now, let me share with you how we made it. Don't forget to click that like button. Okay, let's start by choosing an envelope. Image. Okay, well, I purchased this one, so we gonna use that one. The largest we can cut on the mat is 11.5. So let's do 11.49, just so it's just, just shy. That's the biggest we can cut the envelope on a 12 by 12 mat or by using one sheet of 12 by 12 paper. Let's insert a square and unlock it. Let's try So we want to make the square big enough to give it room to fold. I think that's good. Something like that. But I like working with even numbers, which is not necessary, but that's me. So let's say with 5.8 and 4.4. Now let's type happy and to use big bold letters we're going to use Arial black and we want it to go all the way across the top so let's make the width 5.8 okay 5.8 by 1 so let's hide our envelope this is a 5 by 8 by four by four and this is a one inch so we're gonna take an inch off of this let's unlock make sure it's unlocked and remove an inch and make it going to weld these two together. We want to duplicate that and go up to the top and flip it vertically. Align left. Oops, align left. Now let's weld those two pieces together. Awesome. And now we need a score line. We want to rotate that score line 90 degrees so it's straight. And we want it to be the length 5.8. And we want to highlight those two, the score line and the welded image and a line left. Actually, we want to align center. There we go. Awesome. And we want to group, attach actually, we want to attach. That's the base of our card. Let's make it something pretty, like a lilac color. Of course we can, we're gonna choose, I was thinking of choosing a, um, a pattern and then typing Mother's Day, making a, a Mother's Day cut. Let's 
a pretty font. Okay, we're going to choose this back to black. I got that from dafont.com. Let's move the letters together. Let's just weld it. Let's weld this. Perfect. I went ahead and created another box to put the letters on top of that because I chose a floral print cardstock. And make it. I'm going to need my scoring wheel. Put the scoring wheel in there real quick. sentiment on the inside that wasn't as hard as I thought it would be and it came out really cute I'd like to thank you for clicking that subscribe button and that notification bell and don't forget to leave a comment if you have any questions or a crafting idea also look for me on other social media at Facebook Instagram and TikTok because that's always fun thank you for joining me and I will see you on the next one